Hi everyone, I'm Stella Rose and welcome to Stella Rose Knows. Let's go! Today we're in Yellow Springs, Ohio at the Glen Helen Raptor Center. Let's go learn about raptors. are birds that only eat meat and then they use these talons on their feet to catch their food. So this is Odin and he is an American kestrel and so these talons down here are how he catches his food and then his beak is how he would eat them. But that's what makes him a raptor instead of uh, a different kind of bird. That's really cool. Why do birds come to the raptor? So if they are sick or they're injured or like with Odin he was a baby and he got he fell out of his nest so they come to us if they need some help uh, if they have you know injuries we can hopefully heal them or if they're sick we can give them medicine and then hopefully we are able to send them back out to the wild when they're all better when it came to the raptor center Mm -hmm. The eye thing line. Yeah, so he came to the raptor center. He was about this big. He was a tiny little baby. Mm -hmm. And he was in a box with three other babies, and they had all fallen. They were living like in like, underneath the, um, the eaves of an old barn. And they had all fallen out, and he had an infection in his eye. And we don't really know what caused it. It was probably just could have been dust. It could have been a piece of food that his parents brought in. Um, but it was like really gross and crusty and puffy and you couldn't see out of it um and so it took us four months to get that infection out of his eye because it was like way in there and we'd got the infection all the way out but his eye wasn't really able to grow properly so he does have an eye in there if you like look real closely but it's tiny and it doesn't it doesn't work at all so he's totally blind over here and then he can see over on this side that's really cool yeah because um, he can't like find his own food in the wild with this flying eye. Exactly. So these guys actually hunt other things that are flying. So when they're babies, they learn how to hunt things like dragonflies and um, butterflies and moths. And then eventually they actually learn how to, to hunt birds. And so since he's blind on one side, he can't really see well enough to hunt. And also he would be really uh, vulnerable to predators. So if, you know, if he was sitting on a tree cleaning his feathers like he is right now and something came up on this side, he wouldn't know. And so it would be hard for him to keep himself protected and also hard for him to keep himself full. Yeah, like it would get up and like, nom, 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 nom. Exactly. And he's a little guy, but he's full grown. This is as big as he's going to be. So there are a lot of things that might try and turn him into a snack. There's hundreds of types of raptors, but they fall into five main categories. So we have hawks, owls, eagles, falcons, like Odin, our American kestrel falcon, and osprey. And then here at the Raptor Center, we also take care of vultures, even though they're technically not raptors. What's the fastest raptor that you have? The fastest raptor, in fact, the fastest animal in the whole world is the peregrine falcon. And we have one over here. Her name is Flash. They can dive at over 200 miles an hour. That's really fast. That's super fast. So cheetahs, you know how they're the fastest runners? They can run at about 75 miles an hour. 
So she's more than twice as fast as a jet. We do work with uh, vultures also. So behind me, <laughs> that's a red-shouldered hawk baby up there. Uh, behind me are two of our vultures. We have black vultures and turkey vultures. And they're technically not considered raptors, but because they eat a lot of the same things and they need the same kind of care, we rehab them here as well. But if it was like a you know, a, a robin or a cardinal or something like that, we would send them to a different place that specializes in the smaller birds. What's the difference of what they eat here and in the wild? So we try to feed them as close to what they would eat in the wild as possible. Um, and sometimes we can't quite do it. So some of our birds here might eat um, squirrels and rabbits and mice and um, voles and all sorts of rodents uh, but when they're with us we might only be able to feed them mice and rats and squirrels um, so we try to get as close as they can to what they would eat in the wild but usually we're not able to give them like as big of a menu so odin in the wild would eat a lot of insects um, so here we feed him crickets and mealworms and then he also gets birds and mice um, but not quite as many things as he would get in the wild is there anything else you would like us to know about the Raptors or the Raptor Center? Well, the Raptor Center is open to visitors just like you. Uh, we're open every single day. You can come and see all of the birds here and meet them and learn what's so cool about them. But the most important thing is that the more we learn about them, then the more we can help to protect them out in the wild. So Odin can't go back in the wild but he can teach us about all of the birds that are in the wild and better ways to help to keep them safe so that hopefully all the ones that are in the wild can stay out there in the wild. I, I like the design. Aren't those cool? So something really neat about the American Kestrel Falcon. So do you see how he's got these blue gray yeah. pieces and his belly has these little black polka dots? If he was a girl, he would have tiger striped wings and tiger stripes on the belly. Instead of dots. Instead of the polka dots and the blue. Yeah. Thank you for inviting us to the Glen Helen Laughter Center. You're so welcome. Thank you for coming and meeting with me and Odin and teaching all of these people about how cool we are. Stick around for a Stella Rose Nose question of the day. She has come on in here. Whip. And then see, we close this one before we open this one. Not that there's no other bird in here right now, but if there was, we wouldn't want them to be able to escape. So we have two doors. So then you can come in here on this little shelf right there. And then there you go. <laughs> you hand that one to him. Good job. about raptors. Let's see what you remember on our Stella Rose Nose question of the day. Earlier, we learned that the peregrine falcon is the fastest animal in the world. That is really fast. How fast is it? A, 50 miles per hour, B, 100 miles per hour, or C, 200 miles per hour. If you said C, you were correct. They can fly over 200 miles per hour. That's really fast. If you have a question about raptors, leave it in the comments below to see if Stella Rose knows. Thanks for watching. Bye.